In this video, I'm showing you how to use the Polygon 2D, Collision Polygon 2D, Line 2D, and Path 2D nodes to help you prototype, create levels, obstacles, and more, and super simply. Let's start. If you've seen my 7 tips for better 2D visuals video, or if you've seen me prototype stuff live on Twitch, you know I love the Polygon 2D node. It's not just because of its crisp edges, and more because of its versatility. The first usage is the simplest. You can make walls or obstacles easily. With a static body, you put a Polygon 2D and a Collision Polygon 2D as children, and you edit the look of your obstacle using the Polygon 2D. Now, in a script, you can simply do Collision Polygon 2D dot Polygon is equal to Polygon 2D dot Polygon. Huh, it's a lot of polygons. This lets you easily change the shape of your obstacle and have the collision automatically match perfectly. Also, don't hesitate to use math to create more perfect shape. For example, creating circles by hand is super painful. Just use math to calculate the points you want. There's an add-on that does that for you. Another cool stuff you can do is add borders. For that, you have two choices. If you have a square shape, you duplicate the polygon and click on invert. Then you play with the size of the invert to create the borders or walls. This doesn't work with more complex shapes, but thankfully it's super easy to create borders using a line 2D. You can plug the polygon 2D polygon into the points of the line 2D and then choose the style you want using the color and width of the line 2D. Both on the polygon and the line, you can use textures. Don't forget to set them to repeating if needed. You can adjust the texture position using the offset and the scaling too. This can turn what would just be used to prototype into a real object for your game. Of course, you can also apply a shader to do cool stuff with the texture. In my Ludum Diary game, Pizza Boss Rush, I animated the borders of the area and I also demonstrate how to do it in my trajectory line video. Before moving on to the next usage, drop a like and subscribe to not miss future videos like this. And if you want to go further, you can support me on Patreon, where you get early access, exclusive content, behind the scenes, and source codes of my games. What we just saw is pretty cool, but it looks a bit rough, right? What if you want some curves, smooth curves? Well, that's easy to achieve using Path 2D. It's a very flexible node that can be used to do lots of cool stuff. Most importantly, it allows you to create curves, basic curves to be precise. This means you'll be able to place points and control how curved or spiky your points should be. You probably see where I'm going with this, aren't you? Once you have defined a curve that you like, head over to the script and the magic happens with this line. Polygon2D.polygon is equual to Path2D.getBakedPoints. That's it. That's the magic right there. Few things to note here. We use Get Baked Points because Godot will bake your curve into a multitude of points with which lots of small straight lines will be drawn. To control the resolution of this baking, you can play with the bake interval value on the path to e. The lower the value, the greater the resolution, and thus the smoother it'll look. Be careful though, as the number of points can easily skyrocket. Play with the values and see what is enough for you. Now we can combine all of what we just saw to, for example, create levels or rooms. Imagine you're doing a side scroller, but you want the flexibility of the techniques that we've seen, especially important if you want more organic levels with curves. Well, you can define a curve with a path 2D, create the visuals with a polygon 2D and a line 2D for the border, and finally the collision with a collision polygon 2D. I believe this is what the amazing Smart Shape 2D add-on is doing behind the scene. It lets you easily create levels by just using curves. What if you wanted to create more like corridors where you have walls with collisions on each side? It's the same thing as creating obstacles, but instead of having a full polygon, we just want to have the borders. Thankfully, in Godot there's an easy way, and it's found under the Collision Polygon 2D node. Just change the build mode to segment, and now only the segments between the points will do the collision. The only drawback I found with this technique is that the segments are super thin, so it's possible to go past if you go fast enough. Now that we've seen that, let's talk briefly about more advanced techniques that can be really useful. To make the editing more pleasing, you can turn your script into a tool script and make the changes propagate live while editing your polygon. Next, you can move the points of your polygon to create more interesting shapes or create cool effects. For example, with your obstacle, you can add a bit of randomness to each point to slightly change the shape. You can also animate the points to create cool wave effects or whatever on your polygon. This effect from Shatter Space could be done that way, for example. 
The last trick is to go further and combine different polygons using the geometry class. You can create complex shapes by using boolean operations, or you could make destructible terrain with that for example. I have two videos about this exact subject if you're interested. And that's it, I hope you'll find this useful, tell me what you think about it, and don't hesitate to share if you have other tips and tricks. You will find all of the code on my github. Bye!